How we doing guys? Today we are gonna try to change the light bulb on this cigarette lighter. Now, it's pretty simple. I had a hard time figuring out the light bulb and all that, but I ended up finding it after a long time. So, it's size 73 and I'm using these light bulbs, that brand. And it's simple, all you gotta do, open up your your armrest from here you're gonna push it in and pull up and this comes out like this be careful if you have anything on the cup holders for it not to fall on this side right here see and I've got my auxiliary cable down through here so next step after taking out the cup holders you pull this out like that, so, like so. And again, you want to make sure you don't have anything on that little tray or else you're going to drop it down there. Now, <clears throat> this is where it gets a little difficult. So, you're going to have to take that off and that off. But before you do so, you want to grab your, uh, this thing. I don't know the proper name for it. And you're going to turn it counterclockwise until it comes loose and it comes off so now this little compartment here comes off and this is where I have the light bulb compartment or whatever that goes behind it oh look gas money um, <clears throat> alright so from here you can use, I believe those are 8 millimeters, or you can use a Phillips screwdriver. And I'm sorry if my camera skills aren't on point, but this is my second video. I'm not used to this, I'm not photogenic, or, you know, I'm camera shy, pretty much. But I like to teach people and show them how to do stuff, so... This is what I'm doing. All right, so now that that's off, this comes off as well. You gotta be careful though, cause it's kind of hard. All right, so you're gonna need a little bit more space. So what you can do, don't turn the car on all the way, but just enough to turn from parking to neutral. What you want to do come on, is whoa, come on now. Give me a sec here. All right, how did I do it last time? Mm. All right, let me figure this out and I'll get back to you. All right, so this is how I did it it comes loose from the left side first. And then with both hands, or it with if you have a big hand, which I kind of don't, you put most of the pressure on the right side, but slightly pulling it out. So that's what you do. And this is what you end up with. This is the back part. And this right here. That's where these two go. Now, that black part goes inside of this white or gray part and once you put it in, once they're in together you're gonna click it in here I'll show you right now so let me assemble everything together oh and the light bulb goes right there all right and uh, yeah just let me assemble it and then I'll show you how to install it all right so that's the light bulb I haven't put it together yet because I remembered oh, damn it, that I have the light bulb grease somewhere around here. There you go. All right, so you want to make sure you also get this light bulb grease. So once you put the light bulb in there, if it ever, if you ever have to change it again, 
it doesn't get stuck in there and it's easy and it doesn't get corroded and it's easy to pull out. Ha, pull out. Anyway, let me put this all together and then I'll show you. All right, so you don't want to put too much, but you don't want to put too little either. You want to sort of even it out, put it all over the, not the bulb itself, the, that part right there, the bottom part that goes inside. Okay. Fuck, my camera skills suck. Sorry about that. So in there. So, let me see if I can show you. So that, the light bulb goes in there. You want to push it lightly, but firmly, so it doesn't break open. There, you see? Now that goes with, oh shit. Oh, I know what that. Is. So this goes in like that. Like that. But this black part has to go in that orange part first and then the white part or gray part goes on top. So it goes like this. So it goes in like that. You click it, you heard those clicks. That's what's gonna happen now. After that, you're going to do this. Oh, wait. You see? Now it clips on like that. Now, the connector, what's cool about this is that when you take it off, before when you, before you, you're going to change the light bulb and everything, the old light bulb, when you take it off, it's a hassle to take this gray part off. So what you're going to need is a really small flathead screwdriver and push that little tab in and try to pull this out, the gray part first. Now, when you disconnect the connector, there's this little slot where you can stash it so it's not just hanging. And now all you got to do when you change the light bulb, connector engaged. There you go. So, let's see if it works. Now... Oh, crap. So, do that. I can't tell. Hmm. It's hard to tell right now. But. That's pretty much how you change it. Yeah, it's daytime right now, so. I can't really tell but I'll take a video later at night and I'll upload it and we'll see how how it goes but that's how you change it anyway so it goes in here screwdriver I mean a flathead push that tab in pull that gray part out then pull the black part out uh, disconnect it from the connector take the light bulb out and you're all set and then to reassemble this, I'll show you right now. Give me a sec, or a couple minutes, give me a sec. All right, so, to put everything back, as I said, you're gonna need this space, put it into neutral, with the emergency brake on, obviously. You're gonna put this in like so. You want it to fall into place without you having to do 
too much. You don't want to put too much force in it because you might break something. Um, get this little ashtray thing back. Now, just put these bolts back. the cover for this Put this part in first you just make sure it falls into place like I said you don't want to force too much it should just click right away and it did the first right here now your cup holder So you put this front part in like that. You push this in like so. And last but not least, the little knob thing. And you want to turn it clockwise when you're trying to put it back on. When you're trying to take it off, counterclockwise. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. And you want to turn it, oh, put it in park. And I'm going to turn it till I can't turn it no more. And there you go. There's that. So, close this back up. And you're all set. So that's how you change the light bulb on a Sierra Red Lighter for a 2005 Mazda 3i. And... That's it. Hope you guys have fun. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I apologize for the bad camera. I apologize for not knowing certain names on stuff. So I hope this helps. Have yourselves a good day. See you next time.